A New Mexico border collie that many consider one of the 9-11 heroes is now fighting for her own life. The dog that helped find bodies at the Pentagon after the attacks is now suffering from cancer. News 13's Jeff Todd joins us from Roswell with more. Kim, as you mentioned, the dog played a major role in the September 11th search and rescue. But that's just the start. Now friends are reaching out to make sure Sage can continue saving human lives. This was Sage just a few months ago. Her handler didn't know she had a tumor growing inside her. The x-rays and the CAT scan showed the tumor in her chest. It's between her lungs. Joanne Heiss is a friend of Sage's owner, Diane Wetzel. They met when Joanne bought one of Sage's puppies. Joanne's been a big fan ever since. She's a hero. She's helped so many people, and now she needs help, and we just decided that we're going to get in there and we're going to help her. Ten-year-old Sage has worked search and rescue cases in Aruba and Iraq and on the Gulf Coast in the wake of hurricanes. Recently, Diane and Sage took a trip to Santa Fe to get the tumor checked out. Diane was told Sage needs surgery and chemotherapy at a cost of $5,000. Then Diane came home and found out her job at the Roswell Correction Center could be in jeopardy because of the state's budget crisis. It's hard to spend $5,000 on a, you know, a credit card on a dog when you don't even know where you're going to be living or you know, what, what you're going to be doing. So now friends like Joanne are reaching out and hoping to help save Sage. She's a heck of a dog. That's why I, I told the group, we had a meeting last week, and I said, we've got to do something for her. If you would like to help, visit us online at krqe.com and search for Sage's story under news links. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jeff. Now, we're told if the surgery and chemotherapy are successful, Sage could continue working as a FEMA-certified search and rescue dog.